Happy birthday! This is a top 10 list of all my favorite video games. Except it's not really a top 10 list, because they're not really in any order. And also, there's not 10 video games. Okay, so number one is Pokemon Scarlet. So, Pokemon Scarlet is really good. So are basically all Pokemon games on the Switch. Uh, Inteleon is my favorite starter. I got this Funko Pop yesterday. I got this from pre-ordering Legends Arceus. And this Turtwig from pre-ordering uh, Brilliant Diamond. Or no, it was Shining Pearl. So Pokemon Scarlet is just like the best Pokemon game ever. A lot of people don't like it because they say it's really glitchy and stuff. Um, it's not as glitchy as people say it is. Or it really is as glitchy as people say it is. But it's not that bad. Even though everybody, even me, is making a video about how glitchy it was. It's not that bad. And you should subscribe for that too. Because if you look in the video in the thumbnail, there's a rookity. But in the actual video, there's a watch roll, and I purposefully changed it instead of just tracing it, because I didn't want to spoil the game. Number two is Hollow Knight. I couldn't think of anything to say for it. Hollow Knight is really good, though. It's really cheap. I even made this little king guy out of clay. Hollow Knight is a Metroidvania, like Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is a really good game. I even have a mug for it. And a Ridley, even though this is not Metroid Dread. But yeah, Metroid Dread is good. I talked about it in the last video, how good it is. But I think what really makes it good is, like, the style, because it's really stylized. All the characters and all the enemies have, like, tons of sharp angles and, like, big shadows all over. And I think that's what makes it so, like, satisfying to play is because of the style of it. Like, it can really change the game, just, like, the graphics and everything. Like, Undertale? I don't think Undertale would be popular, like, not nearly as much if it weren't the same style. Because if it weren't the same style, the Flowey fight wouldn't be so good. And it wouldn't be the same style as Earthbound, which means the Sans' Nest Theory wouldn't work, which means it wouldn't be as popular, or the video wouldn't, maybe wouldn't have came out at all. And, like, I think that games don't need to be, like, easy, like, 300 percentable, like, you can play through the save file, get all the collectibles, I don't think they need that, and, under and Undertale shows it. And like, for other short games, I'm gonna easily transition into Squirrel Stapler. Guys, this is me in editing, but in the actual video I didn't explain Squirrel Stapler good, so I'm gonna re-explain it. So it's like this calm little game, you're like, going in the woods peacefully, you have like this gun and you're like, shooting all these squirrels. Just grabbing them, picking them back up, stapling them to your dead wife's corpse. So it's a pretty peaceful and calm game, I would say. It is a shorter game, but it was pretty scary, so that was good. And you know, because we're here for a good time, not a long time. And talking about phrases that I'm pretty sure were invented by Splatoon. Splatoon! I'm pretty sure that that phrase I just said is from Splatoon. Or that's just the first time I heard it, but whenever I hear that, I think of Splatoon, which is good, because Splatoon 3 is good. Splatoon is good. Splatoon 3, specifically, it's way better than any Fortnite or any, like, other shooter game. Anyone who disagrees is just afraid of the Switch and afraid of being portable device console. And even if the gameplay alone of Splatoon wasn't better than Fortnite, it's just the community is still better. Because every single Fortnite video, it's all clickbait. I used to play a bunch of Fortnite and none of this is true, I can promise. Like, the Splatoon videos aren't perfect because they're literally all tutorials. But at least they're not so bad that I wish I was Amish each time I try and watch a Splatoon video. Tetris is pretty simple, but if I was going to play an online game, I would want to play Tetris because you're like putting the blocks all over. It's also really helpful if you ever have to hide a body. Cause Even though I like Tetris a lot, I've never actually won the game. You have better odds of winning the lottery than winning Tetris because it's so hard. It's like winning dicey dungeons, you know? 
that game you're like rolling dice you're just gambling basically the whole game you're like rolling dice you have like this spinny board that you can spin it's basically an entire game about gambling but it's fun it's turn-based combat that is simple and quick and not online and out of all of these games, Dicey Dungeons probably has the best, like, business tactic, you know. The best time to get addicted to gambling is while you're young, so Dicey Dungeon knows what it's doing. Like, it's a good game. Plus, the art style and the music and the sound effects all work good, and they go together well, and they're satisfying to play. But finally, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is, like, the super bestest game. It has to be on this list, because it's just good. You get to, like, play as some characters against other characters. It's the best fighting game out there, I think. It's easy to play like with your family or like anyone who comes over to your house. And you can play as your favorite characters while you do it. So that's pretty cool. Super Smash Bros. is so good, I have a bunch of amiibo for them. 